Yes, global people, that was Oliver Tree with Life Goes On di Global Radio Jakarta dan juga Global Radio Bandung. Ayu Sama dan Aisyah Natiba berkesempatan hari ini memutarkan baru aja lagunya. Yeay! Dan juga kedatangan orangnya langsung. Yeah. We got Oliver Tree here. Hi. What happened? How you guys doing? Yes, we, we're, we're great. great. Thank you. How you doing, Oliver Tree? Couldn't be better, couldn't be more inspired. So happy to be talking with you both. We happy also uh, talking to you here in uh, Jakarta. It's uh, uh, morning. Yes, 9 a.m. in the morning. The morning. Uh, what time is it there? It is 7 p.m. So it's, a, it's oh. about to be dinner time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's All dinner right. time at your place and it's breakfast time at ours. <laughs> Oliver, yes. we really want to say congratulations yes. first. Uh, you just... Collaborate with a Russian band Lil Big and featuring Estonian rapper Tommy, Tommy Cash, Cash for yes. their single Turn It Up on last September. Are, uh, am I right? Yes, yes. It came out, I think, uh, about a month ago. Oh. So it's exciting. Wow. I lived in Russia for four months. I worked with them. Oh. They came to America. We worked on it for about a year back and forth online. They came to America. Wow. We worked on it in my house, in my studio. Then wow. we went to Russia. It took me like six months to get the visa approved from the president's office. Um, wow. And yeah, it was pretty pretty complicated to figure out wow. how to get into the country. So when I went, I just ended up staying there for four months. Lived wow. there with the Russian people. And I was so inspired by their music scene and their filmmaking. They're incredible artists. So it was very inspiring. Wow. Amazing, it's amazing, it's amazing. So it's quite a challenge when you uh you know you took a place uh in Russia and also you shoot it and you recorded it yes. uh, during the pandemic. How uh you know can you tell us about the challenge itself? Well, the language barrier was a big one. Uh it's very hard <laughs> communicate, you know, make sure everything is exactly what we mean. Uh, okay. the Russians are very, you know, they will tell you what it is they're not going to lie to you i live in la everybody lies they're like oh yeah, yeah. yeah not. <laughs> then they go leave the interview and they're like oh man we hate this guy. so the russians are like they'll just tell you how it is and that was i appreciated that you know they uh, we tried to make this idea for the uh-huh. video yeah. the internet and i would be like oh i share ideas and they we would i came up with the first idea and then we yeah. both kind of passed it back and forth and i would say oh i like this idea and they would say uh, wow. no no they make these faces i was like what's going on and they're like <laughs> No, we hate it. And I was like, okay, okay, I get it. In America, I'd be like, instead of me saying I hate it, I would say, uh-huh. oh, that's a cool idea. What else? What other ideas? You know, but it's very <laughs> different. And I appreciated the honesty. And, you know, there was a lot of barriers just from they they wake up when I go to bed. You know what I mean? So yeah, that yeah. Time period was hard to do as far yeah. as when I was working with them in America. Yeah. And then it was easier when I was actually in Russia. And, you know, Other thing is they're always out partying and drinking and I'm in the studio. I'm like, when are you guys going to come? And then they're literally, uh, they're drinking the brews when they come in. I'm like, come on guys, we got to make this song. So <laughs> culturally. So basically the struggle was just about, you know, the time difference and the yes. culture and the language. But, yeah. but it's so fun. Yeah, yeah. But, it, but it's finally paid off because 30 yeah. music video has been watched 20 million views. Congratulations. Oh my God. Wow. After this, we are going to talking about the life goes on. Wow. Uh, so- I, I, I made the TikTok challenge yeah, with this too. song. Wow. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you. After Thank this, you. Abis yang saat ini Global People, kita bakal ngobrol tentang lagu Life Goes On-nya dari Oliver Tree. Jadi jangan kemana-mana. Don't go anywhere ya. Yeah. Tetap di Spada. 88,4 Global Radio Jakarta, 89,7 Global Radio Bandung, your number one music station. Yes, Aji Sabah, Aisyah Latiba, masih nemenin Global People sampai nanti jam 10 pagi. Dan seperti yang udah kita bilang tadi, kita masih barengan sama bintang tamu kita yang spesial banget ya. Yang lagi viral banget lagunya juga sampai sekarang masih masih banyak banget yeah. yang pakai lagunya. Iya. Yeah. Yaitu kita masih bareng sama Oliver Tree. Yeah. It's amazing. What's popping? <laughs> yes, it's amazing. Uh, we can talk uh, music from Oliver Tree. Yes, of course. And I want to talk about the life goes on. Yes. Oh my God, life goes on is so boom. It's so uh, viral here in Indonesia. Of course, exactly. It went viral on TikTok with yeah. 200 million stream on Spotify and also 135 million views on YouTube. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Uh, it's really really great. Uh actually can you tell us a little bit about the uh, the story behind Life Goes On itself? Yeah. 
So the original lyrics were actually Life Goes Onion. And I oh, see okay. like an onion, yeah, and it unravels okay. as many layers. But oh, what happened was my label said there's another song called Life Goes Onion, and it's too close, <laughs> and we need you to change it or else there might be a lawsuit. Yeah. So what uh-huh. happened was I had to find a new solution. So I said, okay, life uh-huh. goes on. It's like on and on. It's like onion, onion. It's very oh, similar. So I said, God. this could work. And so I, I had to change it from Life Goes Onion to Life Goes On. That was the first thing that I had to deal with. But basically... I recorded this song seven years ago. Uh, oh. I had a falling out with my best friend. We were both oh. wanted to release it. I ended up never seeing daylight. We didn't think it would ever come out. So the fact that it even came out at all is crazy. Uh, since then, we became best friends again. We worked everything out. So, mm-hmm. you know, we were able to squash the beef, if you will. And the song came out seven years later. Mm-hmm. And I think in some ways, you know, if it would have come out back then, it never would have had this moment. So I think a good artist is five to 10 years ahead of the audience. And this is a great example that, you know, the art I make and the art that like true artists are making is can be timeless. And I don't know if that's five years, 10 years, a hundred years, a thousand years. We don't know. The internet was just born basically in the timeline of how long it could be on. So we don't really know, but what I will say is, my art is true to me. I don't listen to music. I don't know what's happening in pop culture. So, uh-huh. you know, I just make things that feel good to me and what is relatable for me as a human. And that's something that could come out in 10 years and still be just as relevant or even more relevant than anything if I would have dropped this when it was made seven years back. Wow, wow. that's really great. Because yeah. if you release this song actually seven years ago, uh, the internet was not this uh this big of an impact you know the tiktok yeah. was not this viral yeah so i guess the outcome would have been different right very different there was no tiktok i was on vine back then and vine is ghost town it's dead now so it uh, wouldn't yeah. work yeah yeah uh, exactly. I, i have vine you have vine I yeah i used to have vine yeah. until it got shut down but yeah. you know th- thank god we've got the replacement we've got tiktok, TikTok now TikTok. <laughs> exactly. and, uh, not just uh, viral on tiktok but yeah. in uh, instagram uh, reels right yeah, yeah exactly your song life goes on is so 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 viral here in indonesia of course my nephew yeah, yeah. uh seven years old yeah uh every time he uh, played tiktok Oh. He used to be with uh, Oliver Tree song. Wow. Life goes on. That's really like that really duck, good. the duck, and oh, the yeah, the duck tutorial. Challenge. Tutorial. Yeah, I, I know. It's amazing. Know. It's amazing. Yeah. Tell him I said hello. Oh, yeah. of course. We're gonna say hello. <laughs> uh, anyway, can you tell us about the? Uh, you know, you have any special reference on this song? I mean, uh, life goes on. You have uh, some reference on your music or maybe your your style. Um, what inspired it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I I don't even listen to music. I don't really know what's happening. Oh so it's literally like I don't have iTunes. I don't have Spotify. I don't have Apple Music. I don't oh listen to music. God. So ignorance is bliss. The less I know, the better. Because I don't want to sound like every other artist who's out there. I want to make something that's unique and different. I want to make yeah. something that can still work in the pop space, but yes. isn't the same song you heard a thousand times. So I'm just trying to do my thing. And if people love it, that's great. If not, I love it. And that's all that I care about. Wow. wow it's amazing. And you did inspire people. That's yeah. really amazing. What's, that's what yeah, two artists should do, yes. right? Yes. So we're going to talk amazing. about, uh, you know, your collaborations yep. and, you know, your outfit and stuff. Yes. And uh, you, uh, Olivier has just tell us about pop culture. I really want to know <laughs> what pop culture means to Olivier. So we're going to talk about later. Don't go anywhere, global people. Yes. Aji and Aisha will be right back. Hi, on Spada. 88.4 Global Radio Jakarta at 89.7 Global Radio Bandung, your number one music station. Aji Saba, Aisha Latiba, still on Spada with our special guest for today. Yes. We've got Oliver Tree. Yes. yes. Oliver. What's going so on? Yes. Oliver. It's really, really nice to know that, uh, yeah. you know, uh, you finalize your collaboration, begin, you know, your uh, your collaboration begin with rapper T Dollar Sign in Life Goes On yeah. with the second version. So it's coming up uh, when? When is it going to come up? That came out last Friday. Last Friday? All right. Wow. That's really, yeah. really great. So how come that you finally decide that, you know, I'm going to collaborate with T Dollar Sign? Well, basically... We've known each other for a while. I've been uh-huh. a fan of his music. He's been a fan of mine. And uh-huh. we just it was the perfect moment to try to come together. If you listen to that new version, 
He yeah. made a new verse, but I also made a new verse. So to come oh. back to a song that's seven years old, that's my biggest song and write a new verse for it was a whole challenge in itself. But I will say very proud of it. I think it's an incredible song. And we got a bunch of other versions coming out too. I'm, I'm wow. just making more versions. I mean, I love the song and uh, I filmed a new music video for a new version this weekend. I got a new version wow. coming potentially next week and I got a couple other versions. So, I mean, life goes on, baby. <laughs> yeah, life goes on. Just, life goes on, on, baby. Yeah, just yes. like the title, life goes on, and there's gonna be another collaboration. Yeah, until another collaboration. But yes. you know what? Uh, you know what makes me really, really curious is uh, with with uh, your outfit. <laughs> you know your outfit especially during your video clip you used to yeah. wear that purple jacket it's very iconic yeah what what is it with you and the purple jacket <laughs> my favorite color uh i stole oh, it from really? my mom yeah it was actually my mom's and i stole it from her closet and <laughs> it was something that you know i i looked way better in it than she did so i was like <laughs> you're not gonna miss this thing she was hardly wearing it and i was like you know this is mine now i just basically and i love my mother but i will say uh you know that was really something that needed to happen for me to do what i needed to do so it was part of my journey uh but i wouldn't advise stealing stuff from your parents or your mom um but I will say, <laughs> It looks damn good on me. So I, yeah, I ended up, it is. I didn't want to wear anything else. I was like, this looks way too good. And it started getting really stinky. And so okay. I only had one of them and people got, oh, he has so many. Well, I only have one. And there's other <laughs> versions that are fake of it, but there's only one that looks like that. So I was wow. wearing it for about five years and it got wow. so stinky. People kept saying, hey, can you scoot away? Can you step away from me? I can smell you. And, you know, of course, I don't wear deodorant. And so basically, it was something that I started losing friends. Uh, interviewers didn't want to interview me. And so I said, I think it's time for me to hang this thing up. And, and <laughs> I'm wearing new clothes now. I'm trying to, you know, be a little less stinky, you know, take a shower every couple months. So I'm working on it. Working on myself. <laughs> yeah. At uh, least once a month. At least once a month. Oh, wow. That's really, really amazing. Great. It's amazing. Okay. Uh, Oliver, can you tell us uh, what's your plan in uh, 2022? Maybe a new album or EP? something? Yeah. EP or maybe you come to Indonesia, come to Jakarta. I'm hoping to come to Jakarta. Uh, I, my favorite place in the world is Bali, Indonesia. Ah. So ah. I have never been to Jakarta. So I'm trying to come. Next time I come, I'm going to be in Jakarta for sure. I want to play some shows. Um, hoping I can bring my next tour, which will be my last tour ever, Cowboy Tears, the global tour. I'm yeah. hoping to come to Jakarta. I'm hoping to play in Bali. We'll see what happens. I'm working on it right now. Uh, I've been making this country album. I moved to my grandmother's ranch, and I made this album called Cowboy Tears. Yes. It's okay. an emo cowboy album. It's about, you know, the fact that, tough guys can cry and really everybody can cry, you know, and I made yeah, something that is the best art I've ever made. I'm so excited about it. I was never going to release another album, but I was living on this ranch and I ended up making this country album. And I said, Hey, this is the best thing I've ever heard and the best thing I've ever made. And I think people need to hear it. And so right now the label's deciding if they want to release it or not, but I'm hoping there's a world where this will come out in the next year or five years. We don't know. My music takes a long time to come out. And uh, very, very excited about this music. I've never heard anything better. I don't listen to music. This is the only thing I listen to. My old music sounds like doo-doo. I don't listen to any of the old stuff that's already out. I just want to hear the new stuff because it's made for me and where I'm at right now in my life. So I've been working hard trying to make that. I've been writing two feature films over COVID during the, the breakdown of everything. Everything's shutting down. I just started writing movies during my retirement period. And then... I've been filming these documentaries. I filmed 17 documentaries over the last five years. So I'm going to start wow. releasing some of those. I have a team of editors that are working on them. Uh, and I edit them as well with them. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to be traveling to uh, South America next after my, that's the first stop on my worldwide Cowboy Tears tour. And then, you know, that's my sixth continent I will be going to. I just got back from Africa. Mm -hmm. I was in the Middle East uh, oh. mixing and finishing my country album, Cowboy Tears, there. So I'm hitting all the continents. And after South America, which I'll be hitting in April, my last stop is going to be Antarctica. So I'm designing a oh. tour where I can go and play for a free show for the scientists there. And that will be my last continent. And I wanted to do that before I turn 30, but my goal is to actually do it before I turn 29. So this year, so oh. I'm working on that, trying to hit every continent, trying to see the every stop of the world. And of course, Jakarta 
is right up there. And Indonesia is going to be on that stop. You better bet your bottom dollar. Wow. Uh, all right. Yes, it's it's really exciting. But before yes. we meet you in person, how if you sing us a little bit, life oh. goes on. <laughs> See, I'll sing it. Yeah. Song. I usually don't do this, but I like you guys so much. I'm going to do it for you guys. Oh, you. We love you so much, too. All right. Let's walk up Oliver Tree. Let me see here. Uh, give me a second. Oni, noni, 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 noni. Oni, noni, noni. It's yeah. amazing, it's amazing, it's amazing. Thank you so much, Oliver. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, we are so, so happy uh can talk with you of to, course. Uh, tonight in uh, USA. Yes. Uh, and it's morning, it's morning in, Jakarta. in Jakarta. Uh have a great uh, dinner. Yeah. <laughs> have a great night. Have a yes. great sleep. We're looking forward to meet you in Jakarta. We hope so. I hope when you come to Bali, you're gonna contact us and we're gonna show you yes. a very, very great places. Yes, in Bali. Okay. Great. Uh, we uh, can we uh, mass off to take a picture? Oh, okay, Oliver? okay. Let's take a picture. So we're gonna take a picture first. Let's uh, go. Okay, we can capture from the uh, computer. Computer, right? Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. In three, two, one. Once again, once again, once again. Three, two, one. All right, Oliver, okay. thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you so much. Perfect. We'll see you soon, global people. Thank you so much.